Every 14 minutes, there's a knife crime across England and Wales. What that guy was like. Yeah. This week, we investigate the knives on our streets. Who knows what has been used for? This is why, look, look. We witness the tension yeah, look, look. <laughs> as police search for a solution. My friend is dead, yeah, and this is what we're doing to support him, yeah. Look what they're doing. Look. No, 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 no. There's no. been a lot of knife crime. I've had three murders in the last kind of couple of weeks. So how many people have you? And the victims in fear. In London, knife crime is up 34% in a year with more than 13,000 offences. You're about to watch just one. Early evening, Tottenham, North London, and the mopeds close in. There was four men on bikes, they went onto the pavement, we saw them come here, and within seconds, they've taken this man's bike. My bike and my phone. In fact, we counted five bikes. Two on the pavement, three on the road. At the lights, they surround the delivery rider who jumps off his bike. What you can't see is the knife in the robber's hand. The money is gone, my bike is gone, that's my job, everything, that's it. How much money have you lost? 2,500 now. Can you cope without that money? No, Your I life? got third party insurance. Pardon? I got third party insurance, so they won't give me anything. So you've lost all of that now? Everything. This year, across London, there have been more than 17,000 moped crimes. Many involve the threat of weapons. Did he have a knife? Yeah. What did he have? Knife. Yeah, the blood guy got a knife. Police say the average age of those carrying out moped crimes is 50. Where we're at now with young people is that if we give up on them, then you're going to see the next wave. Paul has been stabbed. He's been jailed for carrying a knife. Now, he's an anti-violence campaigner who does this. Knife point robbery. 13 years old being arrested for knife point robbery. He films young teenagers who carry knives. Dip him in his chest. You dip him in his chest. And shows the videos to shock parents. Like stab him in his chest. Why do you carry a 15 inch knife? Because he's big and he'll get them scared. But you know the kind of damage that a 15 inch knife can do to somebody? Yeah. I used to be in this park here when I was seven. Would you now let I'm your child do no. that here? Now I'm training my child to go to the shop, which is 250 metres away around the corner. It's just ridiculous. So it's like... changing lives? Yeah, it's changing lives. Yes! Then this. What's my thought? I'd put, I'd put the camera down yeah. a bit. What you say? Past. Off camera, there's an argument. A man runs away. Oh, no. There's an attack over there. Something's happened. Clearly mugged him. As we get closer, we see a woman in a wheelchair, covered in blood. I couldn't see anything, just said, give me your bag. Beaten and robbed. In a park full of teenagers. They took my bag and they tried to rip it. I said, no. You just saw that as well. And it enrages you. So does that make you feel now that you have to go and protect yourself? Sends that kind of message, but I kind of feel like if you carry a knife, you're going to die by it, isn't it? It's scarring people because it's happening so often to the point where people are fearing for their lives every single day. Paul knows the places where knives are hidden. He took us to a playground. There's obvious places where they would hide something like... It took him just minutes. Oh, there you go. There you go. Looks like it goes up there a bit. I have found two here in the past. A knife in a place where yeah. children play. I'm really happy about finding this because that's probably going to save a life. Because you don't know how long that's been there, you don't know when somebody's going to come back and try and find it there to resolve a conflict. And that could be the difference between somebody living and dying, is right there. Because now I know that that is not going to go into somebody's chest. No. Yeah. Wow. We wanted to meet someone who carries a knife, to 
to ask why. One man agreed to talk. You have to keep a knife with you, innit? Because it's a part of life now, innit? Your life? Everyone's life, innit? But is it not part of the problem? It is what it is already, innit? Have you seen friends being stabbed? Yeah. Some of them died. Some of them lived, innit? It's possible, war, innit? Money, girls, you know what it is. But if you decided not to carry a knife, then it's one less problem on the street. Yeah, that's one less person carrying a knife. There's how much other people carrying a knife. Black people, there's white people, there's Turkish, there's all races carrying a knife. After we finished the interview, I asked to see his knife. Whoa, whoa! <clears throat> he has refused to show it on camera. He said, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to show this on camera, but you can. And in a couple of seconds, he has just pulled it yeah, out of his pocket and put it into my hand. I've taken my jacket off to hold it, and this is what is on the streets of London tonight. This year in London, 21 teenagers have been murdered. 15 were stabbed to death. The Commissioner of the Metropolitan Police says reducing knife crime is her priority. At Thomas, BBC News, London.